Welcome back. And today we're going to do fried wontons. And what we have is we have about a half a pound of ground pork. We have our wonton wrappers, which you can get in the produce section of most grocery stores. And uh, we'll start off with uh, mixing up the filling. So let's take our pork, and to that we're going to add some very simple um, some spices here. We're going to get some fresh ginger. And I'm going to use three cloves of fresh garlic. And I've used the cleaver there just to get the uh, skin off. And then we'll go like that. And then, there, we'll crush the garlic just like that. And then we'll use the side of the blade to guide that cutting edge, just like that. Cut that coarsely. We'll just put that right in. And we'll take some ginger, fresh ginger. You don't need to peel it. Just crush that. that right in as well. And we'll finish that off with a couple teaspoons of soy sauce. And we'll mix that all in. Just like that. Now you can use different uh, ground uh, meats. You could use um, shrimp. You could chop up shrimp. You could use chicken or turkey. You can get ground up. If you're a vegetarian, you could also use tofu and mix that up as well. And uh, scrambled eggs actually can work. So there you have it. It's all mixed in. And what we'll do now is I will show you three different folds. And they all start the same way. So think about a baseball diamond with first, second, third, and home, and pitcher's mound. Put about a teaspoon of filling. You don't want to overfill. Right on pitcher's mound. Then you're going to paint around the bases, just like that. We'll take home plate. And we'll bring it right up to second base. And we'll squeeze it closed just like that. So that's a simple fold. Now let's do an intermediate fold. Starts the same way. About a teaspoon. Right on pitcher's mound. We'll paint all the way around. Home plate. Second base. And then what we're going to do is we're going to wrap first base and third base right around my finger and we're going to give it a little squeeze. And so you've got a little napkin fold or the Pope's hat, whichever one you want to do there. We'll put that over there. Now we're going to do an advanced fold here and I'm going to do it really pretty slowly so you can make sure you get this. And this is really where you don't want to overfill, because if you tr overfill and try to do this, it'll kind of pop out. So, here we go, starts the same way, home plate, second base. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hold it kind of like a bandana. You're going to kind of push down in the middle, straight down, then you're going to take the wings and you're going to just fold it straight up. Okay, don't go to one side or the other. And it's kind of like a tortellini, or it could be, I think of it as like, it looks like Little Red Riding Hood, doesn't it, with her kind of nose sticking out there. So, I'll do that one more time, just so you can see it. I'll do it pretty quickly. There we go. Right up. Boom. There. There you have it. So, uh, just a little hint. 
Uh, when you're going to be frying wontons, if you make them and let them sit for an hour or so so that they dry out a little bit, they won't, uh, they won't puff up. When, when they're wet, they'll puff up and it'll be hard for them to, uh, to fry evenly. So here we have oil and uh, it's at 375 and a good way to test if oil is at the right temperature, take your wooden chopsticks or an end of a wooden spoon and just put it right in and it should begin to bubble. Alright, so this um, could probably go a little bit higher so I'm going to turn that up and we're going to take another minute or so to uh, let that heat up and while that's heating up let's make some homemade duck sauce. So our duck sauce essentially is kind of a fruit uh, sauce and what we're going to do is we're going to take equal parts of crushed pineapple and applesauce We'll mix those together. And a couple tablespoons of brown sugar. And a tablespoon of vinegar. And I'm using balsamic vinegar, but you could use rice vinegar, you could use cider vinegar. Uh, balsamic vinegar is nice. It's kind of it's a little bit sweet, which is which is nice. And um, if you're going to make this, um, it's, it's good to make this ahead of time to give the uh, brown sugar a chance to uh, dissolve. But that's basically it. You can also use uh, pears. Um, if you have a food processor, you could put in peaches or plums. So there. So we'll let the sugar there dissolve for a minute or two. And we'll go back. There you go. So you can see that's really heating up. Yeah. All right. So um, let's take our wonton. We'll put just one in just to test it. You can see that browns up pretty quickly. So probably in 10 or 15 seconds. And then we'll just kind of turn that over. Now this is why it's good to let it dry. You can see it's not quite dried and it kind of puffed up. And sometimes when it does that it wants to turn over. But there you go. So that didn't take very long to cook. So that's uh, pretty warm. So we'll put in a couple more. So you can see how they cook up. And the number that you put in basically is determined by how comfortable you are at managing all the wontons that are in there. You can also use a slotted spoon if you're uncomfortable with um, with the chopstick. And you'll see I have this uh, wire rack, and what that wire rack does is it keeps the oil warm as it's uh, draining, and so it really helps the oil to drain uh, quite nicely. So I'll take one of these, and let's check out our dip that right in. This is really warm. So there you have it. Deep fried wontons. We'll see you next time.